Joining me live in the studio now is the Assistant Trade Minister, Tim Ayres. Thanks very much for your time. A lot to talk about. Let's start with the Coalition criticising the Prime Minister now over not going to this NATO summit. The Deputy Prime Minister will be attending next week. Why isn't the PM going? Well, two points about this, Kieran. Firstly, the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, who is also the Defence Minister, will be attending the NATO summit. It's an important summit and we are sending the Deputy Prime Minister and the Defence Minister, it will be an important opportunity for him to engage uh, with global leaders and his defence counterparts. We make these decisions in the national interest really carefully, really soberly. Uh, tra overseas travel uh, is, is important for Australia and it's got to be done in the right way. The second observation is, I mean, when Simon Birmingham and the Liberals are not serious on these questions, it is not a serious position. If, if the Prime Minister went, they would criticise him for going. Uh, when, when he's not able to attend or an alternative uh, attendee is selected, they criticise him for not attending. There is no... Th th this is a consequential time for Australia in foreign affairs, defence and security terms. Uh, and we've got an opposition that is just flip-flopping around the place, all about the politics, not about the national interest. Is it important from uh, the Prime Minister's perspective to to show by his presence as well as his actions that he's listening to people's pain when it comes to cost of living? Because it is, it is a real, as you know, it yeah. is a real issue right now for many, well, many well, Australians. Well, this is front and centre for the Albanese government. This week, this week, starting yesterday, every single Australian PAYG taxpayer gets a tax cut uh, for 90% of them bigger than they would have otherwise got under the previous government. Uh, there are wage increases that have flowed through the economy for middle and low-income earners this week. Uh, the government's energy price relief starts this week. This is a, this is a big moment as we you know, wrestle uh, with the issues of inflation and the cost of living. We have made very significant progress um, from inflation with a six in front of it uh, to where we are now where we are now, there is still a bit of work to go. Uh, that is the truth. There is still a bit of work to go. But Australians can see what we're doing. We are going to keep listening. We are going to keep engaging. Uh, we have delivered important cost of living relief this week. It will make a big difference to ordinary Australians.